Welcome back, and today I'm going to be taking a look at the Panzer III Tier 4 medium tank. Thanks for tuning in. So the Panzer III. One thing that's always confused me about the Panzer III is why doesn't the Panzer III lead on to the Panzer IV and the weird-ass Panzer 38 and A, which gets scout matchmaking, lead on to the really fast Panzer 3 4. Find that a little bit weird. Because the Panzer 3 looks a lot more like the Panzer 4. Does it not? Anyway, to get to the Panzer 3, you have to go through the Panzer 3 A, which is like the prototype Panzer 3. I don't know. What is, what is the deal with this tank? Yeah. It had inadequate everything and it sucked. So, yeah. So you have to suffer through this tank to get to the Panzer III. Or you can go on to the Der Bruxwagen Zwei. Okay, on to the stats. Hit points. We've got 350 hit points, which is... Yeah, it's pretty good. It's not too bad for the tier. I don't have too many other tier 4 tanks to compare it to at the moment without going into tech tree, but I think 350 is about average. So we've got 20 tons, which gives this guy a horsepower to ton ratio of 20, almost 22, which is pretty good. So this thing accelerates quick, and it also has a very good top speed of 64. So there ain't too much in the game that's going to be able to outrun this thing. And you will get to the drugstore to get your girlfriend's tampons before anyone else. So you got 45 traverse speed, which is also quite good. You won't have any problem turning around or circling any of your TD friends. Then, looking at the armor here, we've got 70. 70 is pretty damn awesome. And one could say, I cannot penetrate myself with myself because with the top gun in this tank, you only got 67 penetration. So if you want to know another Panzer III that's angled like, like so... You're not going to be able to penetrate yourself. But if you can get yourself in the side. Okay, I'm going to stop that. <laughs> if you shoot yourself in the side, you can get 30. Um, but for some reason, you have more armor on the back of the tank than you do on the side of your tank, which I think is maybe a bit of a design oversight. Maybe the designers thought, hmm, <laughs> if we reverse into action, it would be better than going in sideways. Who knows? I find that kind of weird. With the upgraded turret, you have 57 in the front with a really, really big honking mantlet. Like, look at, a, look at that. That's probably a good chunk of space armor before you actually get to the turret, which is nice. And you got 30 in the sides and 30 in the back. And I'm pretty much 99.9% .9 sure this is not part of the collision model. So you can shoot this, but it probably won't do any damage. But you can shoot this canister on the top, and you will do damage. I think this is where they keep their sausages, maybe. So, <clears throat> taking a look at the guns. You get a wide range of crappy guns on this tank. Well, I don't know if they're all crappy. Maybe everything's crappy at Tier 4, but you pretty much have a choice. Are you going to use... The real normal gun or are you going to use the drippy derp gun so with this gun here you're gonna get 14 rate of fire which is actually quite good still and you're gonna get crap penetration but you're gonna do 110 damage which really isn't a heck of a lot considering the the next derp gun you can get on the panzer 4 does suddenly it does 350 to 400 damage but I don't know what's going on with that. What's with the balancing war gaming? I don't know. So you've got crap accuracy and 2.3 aiming time. Got a derp gun with 2.3 aiming time. Okay. Um, then you've got the L60 KWK39 with, with a 50 caliber gun. Shoots 24 rounds per minute, which is really fast. So if you use the T34, which shoots 26 or a Ram 2. It feels more like one of those, as far as how fast it can ram another shell down its, um, down its barrel. So, um, this is 
kind of where the, the tank falls down a little bit. The penetration of 67 is kind of crappy, especially when you have to go and engage like a, I don't know, one of these. The KV-1, which has 75 frontal and side armor. Things don't really go too well when you're trying to, to penetrate a KV-1. So what, that is, what that ends up happening for me is I load in one of these shells, a premium round, because that's the only way I seem to be able to damage one of them. I've You can sit there and shoot the side of a KV-1, and odds are nothing's going to happen. You can get around to the back, and you're going to have the same problem. You can either choose not to engage one, or you're going to have to load premium rounds to do any damage to them. Or you can get lucky shooting at, like, maybe one of the weak spots on the front. But if you're shooting at the front of a KV-1 with a Panzer IV, you're probably not going to be living too long. So you've got 0.4 accuracy, which is kind of crappy still. And you got 2.3 aiming time. And your alpha damage is pretty much 70 across the board until you get to 90 with the HE shell, but that's only useful against artillery or really, really, really lately armored tier 2 stuff. So you've got crappy, really crappy alpha damage at 70, which I wish this was more like 80, 85. That'd be nice. But I guess we were at tier 4, so 70 is what we get. And 67 penetration. So... This is okay against tier 4 tanks and tier 3 tanks and tier 2 tanks, but 67 against a lot of tier 5 tanks, especially if they're angled slightly at all, you're going to be running into some problems unless you can get the sides of stuff. So it's kind of a toss-up between these two guns. Um, I run it with the L60. I've seen some people um, use the L24. I was actually in my T14 heavy tank, and I was getting shot by a Panzer III with the derp gun and he was shooting his heat rounds and he still couldn't penetrate me especially my side armor because it had spaced armor the side skirts on that tank and he couldn't get it th he couldn't get through and that only had 50 with spaced armor um so that gives you a bit of an idea about what the derp gun is capable of doing sometimes i suppose it's great against really lightly armored stuff you're gonna do 110 damage and you're gonna be happy but um it's just it, it's pretty much just your play style at that point so, looking at the turret traverse speed of 44, that's really fast. That gets plus one. Your view range is 330. Well, it's not too terrible for tier four. And you got a really fantastic radio of 710. So everyone else will be envious of your signal range. You won't have penetration, but you'll have good signal range. So, looking at what I put on this tank, I put on a rammer, so I load faster. Vents, so everything goes better. And I had a toolbox kicking around because I didn't really want to spend another $500,000 on a module for this. I think the, the rammer was only 200000 so it was a little bit cheaper to dump on here and not be, I don't know, flushing money from my, <laughs> my ever-dwindling amount of uh, bank I have up there. It's not, I don't know if it's completely necessary to run these modules if you, you really love your Panzer III. Like, you can put your small repair kit aid kit and your fire extinguisher on if you want um i usually run about 50 ap rounds because this thing shoots fast enough that you can you can kick out a lot of rounds after a while and i take 15 apcr rounds in case i run into stuff like t1 heavies or kv1s uh some of the the heavier tier 5 tanks so what else what, what tier 5 tanks will you run to that might give you problems as far as armor goes the the VK 3001H maybe it's got like 50 but angled. It actually has worse armor than you do, which is actually kind of weird. Yeah, it's 50 all the way around. So you have better frontal armor <laughs> than that's your five tank. So you just got to worry about his gun. Um, American stuff. That's not American. I saw the red, white, and blue, but it was an American red, white, and blue. Uh, we got T1 Heavy. you got to watch out for his armor. Ram 2's armor will also give you trouble. Actually, a lot of trouble. Um, T14 will give you trouble because a lot of its armor is spaced and heavily sloped. As far as British stuff, uh, Churchill, you could shoot its flat turret and maybe your stuff might go through, but otherwise you're going to have a lot of trouble penetrating him as well. You're going to have to maybe blow up your prem rounds. Excelsior, same, same problem. 
unless you can get on his side and shoot him in the side. He's got weaker armor on the sides, only 31. So that's kind of what you're going to do with him. And then you got the Francais tanks. And BDR's only got 60 armor and stuff in the hull, so it's not too bad. It's when you get to the, the KV-1 and the Churchill-3 where you're going to run into problems. Even the, the Matildas, you're going to run into problems um, at Tier 4 and Tier 5 with how much armor they have and what your penetration values are. So you're going to want to watch out for those guys. And then as far as the Chinese go, it's really just the T the knockoff T-34. So watch out for those and don't get shot. As far as my crew goes... Uh, I had this tank before, and then I rebought it so I could use it for tank company stuff that I, I occasionally do. So that's why my crew is only at 86%. But luckily I've got accelerated crew training, so I can try and get these guys up a little bit higher faster. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. So you got two turrets. The base turret really sucks. You only got 30 across the board. It turns a little bit quicker, but um, you actually get the same view range, which is kind of nice. You get three different radios. Two pairs of tracks and you got three engines the last one is the really well the one you want there's a good perk to it you get 440 uh for the horsepower so that's going to conclude the garage review get ready for some replays right. pay attention to the acceleration this thing is like a volkswagen beetle on steroids it's fast it's actually probably faster than a Beetle. I don't think a Beetle went much more than... Back in the day, probably much more than 70. So I'm trucking along on this soft ground doing about 50. If my crew was 100%, I don't know, maybe I'd be going faster. I'm not sure if crew actually restricts your top speed, but I was doing 60 there. So, good ground resistance for this tank, and... It's very good for crashing through buildings and stuff and wrecking people's laundry, if that's your thing. So easily the first one into town. And there's an M2 medium that's coming to town as well. So I'm just cruising in. I was going to wait here to see if anyone was going to be enterprising enough to come in here, but it looks like enough of my team jammed in that uh, there wasn't uh, too many guys on their team that were willing to do the same. So we've got up here, and there doesn't seem to be anyone here. It's like, hello. So I pop around the corner, and what do I see? Ah, uh, T-46, and he steadfastly <laughs> quickly reverses into cover. So as you can see there, I did a lot of damage to him. And unfortunately, that one hit him in the track, so it went a little bit low. I don't aim quite as quick as I should, because I've only got 85 on my crew. And that was artillery shooting at me, probably at XVM, trying to kill me because I have a slightly higher win rate. <laughs> or maybe he just doesn't like Panzer threes. Maybe he he thinks that I'm the most powerful tank on the team. So put a good shot in there. Now there's 73 damage down on this guy. And before I can get to him, our B1 takes him out. And wait for it. Wait for it. Here it comes. Oh! I got shot on the move by the arty because he's still shooting at me. Now I'm just going to assume that it's XVM at this point because you can't have a hard on for the Panzer III on the team. You can't hate the Panzer III that much. He must be like, okay, he's got a 54 win rate. I'm going to try and get him. So the best thing I can do is get him back and. Swerve around a little bit, shoot him on the move, and now he's dead. So it's like, screw you, pal. You and your cheating XVM. And yes, I, I did run XVM for one patch to see what it was about. And I do think it is cheating to see, have a cheat sheet on <laughs> on the enemy team. Who should I, I concentrate on killing so they can't be effective in the battle? That's, that's, there's nothing to say about that other than it's cheating. But... Since everyone can use it, then is it not cheating? It's like, well, you have a choice. You can either play the game and just play to enjoy it, or you can install all the mods. And like the only mod I run is be is the the map one because I like to see how far I can see. 
and I don't have to like count my grid squares. It's just that's I don't think that's really cheating. What I don't like are the the zoom mods because it lets you zoom out so far to see what the other tanks are doing. I think it's bad enough when I can zoom out this far and kind of hook around a building to see if a guy's turret's facing my way. But when I can zoom out twice as far, I think it's a little bit excessive. But that's just my rant on mod stuff. So we ended up winning this one pretty handily and was able to show off a bit of the speed of the Panzer IV. We won that game and I did eh, not too much damage. I think I did like two or 300 damage maybe. Um, but... I was able to survive a couple arty hits. You can't even see them on the tank. It must have just been splash damage. Uh, the radio did get knocked out. One thing you're going to want to look out for is on the front of the tank, um, on the front of the Lord Glacius here, it's very flat. And if you get hit in there, odds are you're going to have engine transmission problems. So don't get shot there. Another thing about this tank is that it doesn't have stellar gun depression. Um, you can see here, like it's not going to be able to aim down very much just um, based on how much space there is from the matlet down to there. Like you won't be able to aim down very much. I think it's only got around minus six or minus five as far as gut depression, but it's not one of the, the strong points of the Panzer three, I don't think, but uh, it's a good win capped out. Maybe probably didn't need to, but we won. So that's all that counts. Okie dokie, here we go. We are on one of the, the campier, crappier maps in the game. I don't like this map much. I find it to be too flat with not enough stuff really to too much cover. Like if you, I find if you go in the city, you get shot from the forest or you get shot from the hills. And if you go in the hills, uh, I just don't like this map. I think it needs more undulations. I think it needs um, some channels somewhere just to open things up because it turns into a camp fest in the forest. And then in this area here, I don't like the lanes through here, but I'm going into a, a more of a Ford ish spotting position. Our M8A1 is being an idiot and going to get himself killed. So this is 0.4 accuracy <laughs> shooting at the T70. I miss a whole load of times here. I'm just like, God damn it. All right, I shot too far in front of him. End up getting a nice roll on him there. Got him again there. And I spent a little bit too much time up there. I probably could have got shot by the Lecto, but I need to get forward a little bit so I can get some shots at this guy again. All right, we spotted him. We're aiming at him and Missed again. <laughs> this might, this probably does come down a little bit to how crappy um, my crew is at the moment. So I took a shot there, and that was from probably the Electo, which is right over here. He is hiding in that bush, and it looks like he caught me flush in my strongest armor, but he's got good pen, so that's going to happen. I spent too much time sitting on the top of this hill here. So uh, I pull back and uh, my climate breach, he's in the, the forest there, camping it up like most of the team is actually. The majority of the team was actually over there. I, it was just me and this uh, Hetzer and the SU over here. Uh, the VK did move up quite uh, aggressively to the front, but I don't know if I'd do that with his armor. <laughs> He's got a good gun, but he doesn't have the armor for it. I have better armor than he does. So just about everything's going to be able to penetrate that guy pretty easy. So I pull up and get in this bush. And I know the Electo's over here somewhere. Where are you? Oh, it was a KV-1. <laughs> And the chances of me penetrating a KV-1 turret are pretty poor from basically every angle. Let's 
See now that there's a Hetzer back there, and I have a lot better chance of hitting that Hetzer than I do of... Oh, I was like, really? I can shoot that M3 Lee? I'm like, uh, <laughs> I don't really have a shot. And I can't shoot the Hetzer, and it says it's green on the KV-1, but that's only if I get an enormously high damage roll. So bounce, 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 bounce. Out. So, even though it says it's green, it's not really green. Now, shooting at the Hetzer is a better proposition if you can get him in the lower plate. So, oh, this is good. In the side of the back of the Hetzers, you're going to be able to penetrate them, no prob. So, I've got an Electo down there, and before I can even aim and shoot at him, he dies. So that's good, because he shot me earlier. Get the Hetzer again when he turns. That one bounces on the front of him. So just waiting for this Hetzer to keep moving. That one ended up tracking him. <laughs> Track the KV-1. Now I'm just here to impede progress because everyone else on my team on this side has died now. So I'm gonna just gonna pull out so I can see you can see how many shots he fires at me then it's <laughs> Oh! So that one tagged me. Yeah, the 120 pen of uh, the KV-1 is going to be able to punch through the front of this tank, no prob. I was... I don't know. I was armored. I was angled a little bit, but that wasn't probably going to be enough for uh, my armor to be able to handle that. So I'm down to 16 hit points now. And things are still looking good. We're, we're 12 to 9. And Breach is going to come over the hill here. And he got kaboomed by the derp gun on the Hetzer. So that's why I keep my distance against the Hetzers. So no unloading Prem rounds because I will not penetrate him if I don't. I even bounced off the back of him there. I bounced again with Prem round. That one went in. That one went in. Back off because I don't want to get shot by the Hetzer. He's, oh, he's done. All right, so now it's just uh, just us, me and you, KD1. And I'm running low on prem rounds. I've only got five left now. So our artillery ended up taking out that KV-1. And I think the last thing I'm ever going to want to do right now is cap. I wouldn't say capping the the cap areas for this tank are or not for this tank for this map are wide open and you can get shot at from any number of bushes over on this side of the map which is where he is um it's just not worth doing like you can drive into there and then you just get lit up so i'm gonna get over here i was maybe gonna park behind the house and then shoot at what they what <laughs> when they eventually did start shooting our team um Someone lights him on fire, it was maybe the KV-1, and gets him down to 72. And, let's see, he drove into the middle there and he died. Because there is no cover, there is no rocks, there is no nothing. So, capping in this map is a bit of a gong show. I wouldn't do it unless you're... <laughs> you got no other choice, really. So, instead of heading head on with this guy, I am going to flank completely around here. And I can do that because I'm fast as hell. And he is now spotted because of Matilda, and flank shot. The Matilda would have been dead the next hit, so it was a good thing I was able to get around and get that off, just in case the Matilda did bounce. Even though he probably wouldn't have, this Matilda has a decent gun, it just doesn't do a lot of damage, but he had no life left, so um, he got hit in his engine, which is like right in the front, in the same spot, kind of my where it is on my tank. So, Panzer III... Um, as far as a tier 4 tank, it's pretty good. Um, I like the speed. I like the agility that it, the tank accelerates fast. It has good top speed. It traverses well. Um, the turret traverses fast. It has pretty decent armor, actually, if you can angle it. Um, I didn't get really an ability to show it off too well because I got shot by the, the tanks with the two best guns probably in the game other than Breach's gun. Um, 
because the Electo can penetrate this or the, the Cave Yorn can penetrate this. So I got shot by the, t the two baddest tanks in the game um, as far as their guns go uh, and the damage and stuff. So I think the armor act on this thing isn't too bad. Uh, getting shot isn't necessarily something you even want to get. Even I don't know. You want to angle like this if you can. And maybe a little bit more to the front, just because if you get hit in the side, you only have 30, and that's going to be painful for you. So, armor-wise, uh, it's not too bad. And the the tank isn't actually very big. Like, it's not a very huge silhouette compared to some other tanks. Um, it's a little bit wide, but it's not super tall. It's kind of squat, kind of like Wolverine. <laughs> and... Uh, yeah, so the, the silhouette of the tank is good. The gun depression, we'll get on the guns now. The gun depression is not so great. Um, gun elevation is better than the gun depression. It um, The penetration isn't great. You saw how many times I bounced on that KV-1 using regular rounds. Even using prem rounds, I was still um, bouncing on the KV-1. So you don't, if you don't need to engage a KV-1, maybe pick apart everyone else first and then gang up on them later. Like, I was also shooting at him from a distance, so my the caliber of my gun probably wasn't helping how I was losing penetration from range and stuff, too. So, yeah, the gun's not the strong point. 70 damage isn't a lot, and the penetration isn't great either. The accuracy also isn't great. So the weak point of this tank probably is its gun. Um, I suppose I could be using the derp gun, but this is the, the gun I choose to use. So it is what it is. So... Yeah, there's a lot of good things to like about the Panzer III. I uh, I wish I actually led on to the Panzer IV. It would kind of make more sense lineage-wise for me, but it, uh, it'd be neat if you could get a version of this with the side skirts or something. I think that would be kind of neat. But overall, this tank gets my, my seal of happiness approval. I don't think it's the best Tier four tank by any stretch. I mean, you saw that Hetzer kill Breach in one hit with his derp gun at Tier four. Um, he also gets the T-3485's gun, and he's doing almost 180-something damage a shot with his gun. So I, yeah, this gun has to hit guys like almost three times to do the same amount as the tank destroyers. So I think the tank destroyers at tier four aren't maybe balanced quite right. <laughs> Just compared to how much damage they do compared to all the medium tanks and stuff, I think that um, the, uh, like the Stug at tier five, like, compared to the Panzer IV. I mean, the Panzer IV, like, if you use the, the L-48, which is a pile of crap gun, um, well, it's not pile of crap, it's just kind of average in every way. It um, it does 110 damage, and then the regular Stug only does, like, 135 if you're using the L-70 on the Stug. So it's a little bit more equal um, as far as, like, just using normal guns, and this you're using derp guns, and then, you know, you're, you're firing gold rounds anyway. So, um, yeah, Panzer III, good tank. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, hit like. If you want to see more videos, you can subscribe. I'll be pumping some more stuff out later this week. And take care. See you soon.